So, we're here at East Denver with Jordan Tonani from Index Co-op, Coop, however you want to say it. Um, so how's it been going so far? Can you introduce yourself and let us know a bit about what Index Coop does yeah. and uh, what your role is there? Sure. So I just got to the venue, um, an incredible venue, but I've been pretty much out on the outskirts of town. It's been going great, meeting with investors, users of our products, uh, just getting to hear the lay of the land. But uh, I head up our institutions at Index Scoop. Uh, you know, I come from a background in traditional finance, worked at Morgan Stanley beforehand. And all the while, kind of had a dirty little secret about just kind of loving what crypto is all about and falling in love with the blockchain ethos in this space. And made the decision to go full time here, you know, pre FTX, pre everything blowing up. Um, and yeah, I haven't looked back since. I mean, it's something where once you kind of see the efficiencies that could be created with blockchains, it's just tough for you to kind of go back to the traditional way. So. Yeah, I love the space, been a part of it for a while now. Super. Uh, can you take us through like the services that Index Group does uh, provides and like how they're simplifying access to crypto, let's say? Yeah, I think you said it great. At, at its simplest form, Index Coop makes investing in crypto easier for folks, right? We'll take a complex theme or strategy and package it in a way that's really familiar to folks, a single ERC-20 token. And so a lot of ways what we're doing is just automating transactions on a blockchain, right? Instead of 10 or 15 transactions to, to meet that outcome, you know, you're doing it one in a single click. And today index two products kind of span three different segments. We have traditional composite or index tokens that people are familiar with. Uh, that started with the DeFi Pulse and Metaverse Index a few years back, DeFi Pulse being kind of the biggest that we have to name. We've got a suite of uh, yield strategies as well. We've got a few leverage and inverse strategies also. And always looking for ways as a community to innovate and build new and innovative products. So in terms of uh, indexes, most people know the S&P 500, they know the SPY, but they don't know the DPI. Uh, can you take us through like the advantages or, or yeah, the benefits of having a crypto index sure. just in general? Yeah, I mean, foundationally, the infrastructure that we build our token products on is just very, very different, right, than the traditional world. There are some features in on-chain structured products that um, you just can't get elsewhere. Like you have the ability to mint or redeem new Unix of our token without secondary market liquidity, 24-7, 365. You know, anyone in the world with access to an internet connection can access our products. Uh, there's a composability element of it, right? If you own DPI, you're able to go out and borrow against it, provide liquidity for it. So structurally, they're, they're just very different in terms of how they're created, but I think foundationally, they're trying to solve the same thing, right? You really want to just make it easy for people to, to allocate in their portfolio, give them just the tools to, to do that in a fast and efficient manner. And yeah, us being on-chain is a really a, a big advantage for us. I mean, you've seen recently the likes of Larry Fink talking about the future is, is tokenized and that you know ETFs were a big evolution, but tokenization is even bigger. And Index Coop kind of finds our, ourselves right in the middle there, right? We want all assets to be tokenized and we want to be the one to kind of help people manage it. Okay. So in terms of uh, the diversity of the crypto space and all the different investors in there, is there a particular investor that would go with it, an index token as opposed to uh, a spot buy? Yeah. Or? I think there's two different types of investors. One, our products are great for newcomers people that have heard of crypto, um, that are interested in crypto, perhaps heard of decentralized finance or the metaverse or large cap crypto tokens, but don't want to take the time to really manage that position, right? They, the beautiful thing of our products is they automatically rebalance on the back end. And the methodology that we've pushed out as an organization is generally pretty strict and generally pretty easy to follow. So if you're interested in the, in the DeFi Pulse Index, for example, um, it's going to continue cycling through the best products that meet the criteria of that methodology. So for a new entrant in our space who's interested in buying a token but doesn't really want to keep up with the day-to-day, -day, um, index tokens are an awesome example of you know, a technology that can help them do that. So I think it's pretty powerful. And so uh, for like a Bitcoin investor who's hardcore on Bitcoin and wanted to branch out, would you say that they're also part of your uh, target group? I think that anyone that's interested in Bitcoin generally kind of falls down the ladder to understand other blockchain ecosystems and how they might you know, be beneficial. We do have Bitcoin related products, right? The opportunity to leverage uh, in a tokenized leverage strategy 2x, soon to be 3x in Arbitrum as well. So if you're someone interested in kind of low leverage and just amplifying that position, 
we do offer that for the Bitcoin user. Um, but yeah, similar to the Bitcoin ETF narrative, most people that buy a Bitcoin ETF or that are interested in Bitcoin, at least from my experience, generally kind of fall down the ladder and start to try to see, all right, what else is out there? What else can blockchain do? Uh, both you know, at the infrastructure level and for me as, as someone interested in growing my nest egg. And they generally find Ethereum and then from there, yeah, again, our products are great for newcomers. I also think they're good for people who are just interested in passive investing, right? Um, you know, traditional portfolio allocators who, if you do that in DeFi today, it's a thousand transactions, it's an absolute nightmare. And I get scared every time I hit transact, I'm sure a lot of people do too. Uh, our tools and our products can allow that to be much easier, much simpler. Okay. Um, you re recently announced a couple of upgrades to the Index Co Co Coop <laughs> protocol. Um, can you just take us through uh, what users what users can expect from the self-serve token builder? That you yeah, so the self-serve token builder is an interesting one. I, I think, in general, um, allowing for people to kind of direct index, which is a terminology used off-chain, is an interesting thing because oftentimes people have specific uh, wants or needs and they're, they're token, right? Perhaps they don't like one project, but they do like another, that's not included in our methodology. And so opening that up to the public is a really big part of what we're trying to do so that people can kind of be creative and, and structure their own structured products around their thoughts, their thinking. That also unlocks some network effects, right? If um, uh, someone who manages assets for a living decides that they want to use that token and distribute that token, that benefits index protocol on the back end. Um, but I think today index protocol Although it's very you know, powerful and has a lot of strategic advantages to it, there's still a lot of ways that we can improve it. You know, we're, we're aiming to allow for cross-chain transactions simply and quickly, be able to pull liquidity from all the different blockchains, not just ETH mainnet. Um, and you know, doing that foundationally at the index protocol level is a really important thing for us. And that'll unlock like a more sophisticated style of, of on-chain managers. So you know, if they can get yield and leverage and tokens across all the different blockchains, um, you know, that's something, kind of a North Star for us at Index Group, especially when you think of the token builder. Yeah. Okay, um, let's think about some recent news and the Bitcoin ETF. So that launched recently, the Ethereum ETF is slated for May, potentially. Uh, what, what kind of avenues does this open up for, for Index Group and just crypto in general? Yeah, I, I think it brings a, a better type of user to our space, right? Um, I mentioned before kind of the narrative that tokenization is not only just a way to access crypto, but at some point a way to access broader assets as they move on chain. Um, and that narrative only strengthens with names like Larry Fink talking about it, but it positions Index Coop as a, you know, potentially more traditional style of, of users are going to come into the space, are going to be interested in things like index tokens rather than 150x leverage or meme coins or whatever it might be. Um, and then also on the back end, it, it allows us at in Index Coop to yeah, potentially be the infrastructure provider for a lot of those folks coming on chain, whether it's a large institution or an asset manager that's interested in building on-chain structured products. Um, you know, our protocol can, can be that avenue for them. And as tokenization continues to be the narrative, um, yeah, again, we're going to be there. Our fundamental belief at Index Cube is that all assets that can be tokenized probably will be. Creates efficiencies, allows for secondary markets. I could go on and on and on. And again, we just we want to be that management layer that helps people get access. Have, to you, it. have you been having these conversations already? Then yeah, yeah. We've been having these conversations for years, and the, the challenge is that uh, yeah, in the United States in particular, it's a, a tough environment for people to really go out and, and be creative and try. And that not only is for entrepreneurs, but also for larger institutions. Um, and so at the very least, CTS, I think open the door a little bit, potentially allows for uh, yeah, less angry regulators that could help us grow and, and try new things, I suppose. So what is your stance on the US approach to regulation then? In, in general, do you feel like it's a bit too uh, conservative or restrictive? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's fair to say, but my personal opinion, non-index coup related, of course, is, um, yeah, I mean, to foster innovation and growth, you need to be able to play in the sandpit a bit. And today, there, there really isn't that opportunity for people in the States. And so my hope is that over time, that eases up a little bit. Um, and they allow for us to build out the new financial infrastructure the way that I think all of us here believe it will, will kind of fall into line. Of course. Okay, so like just to round it up, what do you wish that people knew 
more of about uh, index scoop and uh, just crypto derivatives in general. How do you think it's? Do you think there's misunderstandings there? Do you think there should be more people flocking to these products? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I, I think I wish people potentially appreciated the technology that it is and how it does really disrupt. Um, yeah, a lot of traditional archaic ways of doing things, uh, especially in the fund management space, in a way that's cheaper, more efficient, faster, automated, you know, totally on chain and all the, all the beautiful things. And so, yeah, well, in our space, it moves so fast and yeah, uh, potentially people are less interested in index, index tokens, but you go under the hood a little bit, there's a lot of exciting things happening. The tokens themselves are very innovative in how they're created. Um, you know, I mentioned some things earlier, like the ability to mint to redeem 24/7, 365 permissionlessly. That's a novel thing that uh, creates a lot of efficiencies compared to traditional financial markets. So, sure, I, I think that's one thing. Two, I, I hope they come to the Scoop website. Hope they, at our forum posts, propose new and innovative products. I think, yeah, crowdsourcing ideas is really important for us, and I think our, our community at large are really putting a focal point on trying to bring them back. You know, the bear market kind of slowed that. Again, they moved away from index focus and on other things, but we want everyone to come through. We want everyone to comment on our products. We want everyone to propose new products, give us ideas, um, and just be a part of kind of this on-chain structured product revolution. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Oh, I'm good. Uh, can I add a cupcake? <laughs> you can. So thank you very much for joining us, and uh, until next time. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, good luck with your new products as well. Appreciate it. Thank you.